Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Amlan Sarkar and today we are going to talk about various career options in the field of forensics. Career in forensics can be broadly categorized into eight different fields. They are forensic science labs, detective agencies, teaching, corporates, various pharmaceutical, DNA, chemical, biochemical labs, uh, freelance forensic consultant or expert, medical legal expert and forensic journalism or crime reporter. Now talking about the forensic science laboratories, the forensic science laboratories can be further classified into government and private. Now talking about the government forensic science laboratories, it can further be classified into central forensic science laboratories, state forensic science laboratories and under state forensic science laboratories, divisional or regional forensic science laboratories. Now more or less all the government forensic science laboratories consist of the following departments that is question document, ballistics, uh, DNA, forensic biology or serology, forensic chemistry or toxicology, cyber and sometimes a polygraph unit as well. Now to work in this particular divisions or in all of these divisions students have to have minimum qualifications as respective of this each division that is minimum of forensic uh, MSc forensic science or MSc in certain uh, subjects which are uh, as per the recruitment criteria for the following divisions. Now students who are from forensic chemistry or forensic toxicology background can also work in the narcotics bureau. Now, talking about the private forensic science laboratories, the departments that they contain are finger break, question document, handwriting or signature examination, I'm um, sorry, handwriting and signature examination, uh, fire investigation, key forensics, uh, polygraph unit as well, cyber forensics and digital forensics as well. So students from uh, forensic science background like minimum of MSc forensic science can work in this uh, particular divisions in the private forensic science laboratories. Now talking about the detective agencies, now detective agencies you can work in the detective agencies as, a, uh, as an investigator, as a fingerprint and handwriting expert as well. Now talking about the corporates, the students from the forensic science background can also work in the corporates as fraud investigator, forensic auditor. Um, forensic analyst who deals with the due diligence, insurance claim investigator, a digital forensic expert and a pen tester or a uh, cyber security expert with minimum required qualifications for each of these roles. Like for example, if you want to work as a uh, fraud investigator, the minimum qualification you should have is of MSc Forensic Science. Just talking about the Forensic Science background students, you have to have minimum MSc. Being from MSc Forensic Science background also you can work as an insurance claim investigator and sometimes a due diligence analyst with some certain certifications like Six Sigma risk management that will help you. That will work as a catalyst in, in order to secure a job in these positions in the corporates. Now talking about uh, working as a forensic auditor or due diligence analyst the minimum qualification you should have is of MBA or MSc or income in forensic accounting or at least you are a CA. Now, if you want to work as a digital or cyber forensic expert or as a pen tester, you have to have a minimum MSc or MTech or BTech or BE in cyber security or MSc in digital forensics or MCA. Okay, so you have to be from uh, computer background. But the beauty of working in the corporate is that even if you are not from the uh, respective traditional backgrounds for the post of uh, digital or cyber forensic expert or cyber security expert, but if you are skilled enough to do those those kind of job you will also you can also be hired okay now some certifications that can help you in you know gaining a, a secure or securing a job is uh, easy counsel doing chfi or ceh or uh, getting a certification from ccna these certifications hold a lot of value and can add up in your resume now talking about the post of teaching so net qualified forensic postgraduate students can also work as an assistant professor also uh, students who are net jrf qualified can also work as a research assistant or research fellow now talking about the other pharmaceutical dna or chemistry or biochemical labs the students mainly from forensic chemistry or toxicology or biology to some extent can work in this kind of labs all right now students who are from forensic biology background or have a specialization in forensic uh, in dna can work in the DNA labs as well. Now the next field is working as freelance forensic consultant or a private forensic expert. Now you can give your uh, expertise or you can you know give expert opinions and make a money out of it and make a career out of it as work by working as a private forensic expert and you can give your services to the lawyers uh, who are in need to the police organizations any government organizations or any corporates any private organizations or even peer-to-peer -peer level. All right now medical legal expert 
Now, this is a very tricky one. So students seem to have this notion that if you do forensic science, BSc or MSc, you can also work as a medical legal expert, but that's not the case. To be a medical legal officer or to be a medical legal expert, one needs to be from MBBS and MD forensic medicine background. And the last field, forensic journalism. Now, this is relatively a new field that is coming up and uh, forensic science graduates with a minimum diploma course in mass comment journalism can work or uh, can try the luck working as a crime reporter or as a forensic journalist. Now apart from all of this, YouTube or blog writing can be considered a career if not full time. Now there are very few who are doing this like me who have explored this area and doing decent. I won't say we are doing good or great but we are doing decent because this is the we are the fourth generation who are trying this. And hopefully we'll get into a platform or get into a stage where you know, we can set a platform and make this a mainstream where more and more students can come up and try their luck and make a career out of it. So these are broadly my, out of my experience, what I know of this field, I have broadly categorized eight different fields where students can try out their luck and work as a professional, as a forensic professional. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it among your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.